What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the update on the van. I know I've been putting this video off for a little bit. I've been really, really busy and never got really around to editing everything. I was going to make individual videos, but decided to do one big video instead. I know the filming on this video isn't going to be great and a lot of my videos aren't like that only because when I'm filming them, I am helping my dad do them and I'm just getting every chance I could to actually pull out my phone and take a video of it. So I hope you guys do understand that as well. And I've been working a lot. So a lot of this footage isn't gonna be the greatest. And another thing is when he does these things, when he does these things on the van or his truck or on any car he's working on, he usually just does it. And sometimes I'm not home and I'm out there to film it. So I ask him to take pictures and try to film as much as possible. Um, so I just hope you guys do understand. But uh, nothing less, let's jump into the video. All right, so this is the current front end we have right now. And this is the front end we're swapping to. The only thing we need is the hood because on this newer front end, the emblem's in the grill. And on the older one, there is no emblem on the grill. And I don't know if you can see, but we can't just leave badge because there's a whole indent on the grill, on the hood. So we're just gonna test fit it right now. Okay, so this is the new front end completely test fitted. All we need now is just to get it painted. All right, so the minor changes we need to do is get the whole new foam because this one has these extra paddings on the top and the new one doesn't need that so that and also the fog lights and it kind of looks funny with two emblems this is what i was talking about with a different hood okay so we did get the bumper as you can see this is the new bumper we're gonna be putting on it was gray before and now it's white my uncle just got back from paint gonna remove the whole front end right now just the bumper and the grill because we don't got the other hood all right guys so this is the new front end it's completely on. It looks good right now until you close the hood. Oh All right, so the new front end is completely on. We're just missing a fog light bezel. That's the only thing. And the hood. We did take off the emblem so it doesn't look as weird. But that's how it looks as of right now. Still need to get the hood, like I said. And then it look way better. All right, so it's been a couple of days since we put the bumper on. But we finally got the bezels for the fog lights. And that's going to complete the look of the bumper. We just need the hood and the whole front end should be completed. We had other ones we got off eBay, they didn't fit too well. So these are from the dealer and they fit perfect. Just putting the other one on. And actually there it is. We just need to put the screws and it should be completed. This is the meth kit for the van. We are gonna be using this, this two and a half, right? Mm -hmm. a two and a half gallon we usually run the seven gallon but we wouldn't have any place to put it because in the rear we still gonna use this van anyway we're still gonna use the van you know to do to take trips and to do stuff like that anyways this is gonna be the, the two and a half gallon that's gonna be put in the front somewhere by the bumper and then this is gonna be the stone performance meth controller i mean uh, meth pump this is the meth controller right here uh this is just another one that we're not gonna use this is just the spare meth hose meth line these are the solenoids and the one-way check valve for that and obviously the gallon we're just gonna look right now we're not really we're just gonna what are we doing we're gonna install it right now they say we're just gonna look no i'm gonna install it so we're gonna install it all right now are we gonna run meth right now too no i'm just installing for kicks so we are rethinking about putting it in the back after all this is, this is the whole back we don't know yet we might put it in the front still and also the reason why we are going to be running smaller not only for space issues but we are not going to be running a whole lot of meth on the van all right just like that the meth controller gauge the meth gauge is already on we're just running the wires Oh yeah, just like that, we got it in there. The wires are down here, right there. Just need to connect everything that's needed for the meth kit. All right, hooked the power to the gauge. Uh, basically set up uh, the, the Snow Performance uh, uh, boost controller. Uh, just need to plug in the power for the pump and power, and then the signal for the for the uh, the level. So he just explained right now, this is it. We're gonna be running a 625 meth nozzles. Usually you run about three or four of those 625 meth nozzles, but this is a TVS and it does stay cool already. This is just for extra cooling. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. 
we're gonna try to figure out a place to put the two and a half gallon. The in the back it didn't really work, so we are gonna have to put it in the front. And we are most likely gonna have to use a longer funnel to fill it up because it might go right here in the bottom. All right, new plan. Gonna use the windshield wiper reservoir and put the met the pump right here. The only reason I went with this one instead of the two and a half. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, but it's easier to access because it's literally right there. And I really have an OEM um, indicator. And we're also considering running the little one because of the space issues. But this found this is the best route for us as of right now. All right, got the meth pump on. Drain this as you saw in the last clip. Almost complete. All right, the whole entire meth kit is hooked up. This is our meth pump, and this was once our windshield wiper fluid. It is now gonna be our meth tank, and it has dual purpose. It is still connected to the windshield wiper, so we are still gonna be able to use it. Um, this is the motor from the windshield wiper. It's just tapped in to the actual um, meth pump it, even though it is gravity fed the all the motor does is just assist but this is just our ground we just hooked it up right there and then this is our our this is this green wire is our power i'll show you how that's connected this is the power of the green wire it just goes through right there and then it goes i don't know if you can see it right there let me show you the route of our meth line it goes from the tank to the pump and then this is the pressure side, and this runs underneath the bumper itself, the actual metal bumper. And then it runs up here. We put the black wire loom. We put the black loom on it. And then there it is right there. It runs up from, from down here to up here. Let me try to find it. To so up here right there. And I don't know if you can see it right there. And then it is. So it is, this is it right here. It runs right here to our one-way check valve. And then from the one-way check valve, it goes up into the 625 nozzle, which is right back there. And this is the whole meth line setup. So it is pretty hidden. And then we just ran the power from this little panel right here. We already put everything together to the actual gate itself. It is just a single stage for now. We plan to run another 625 later on. Just need to put the bumper on and everything should be done. Everything is done. This is where we're gonna fill our meth through. After this, we just need to tune and that should be it for the van. Also, we did get these little TRD um, radiator cap and oil cap. So unfortunately in this part of the video, I didn't get to film any of the installation process. So as you guys can see, this is the brakes completely test fitted. So these brakes are actually off of an Audi A5, I believe. I'm not too sure. They are six piston stop tech calipers and 14 inch rotors. Um, we did actually have to modify the bracket for it to fit the Sienna. During the big brake conversion, we actually did end up getting some steel braided brake lines. All right, so my uncle just painted these, just got these back. These are the six piston stop tech calipers. Here's the color on it. So this is right after we got him back from paint. All right, so things are happening. Didn't really film too much. Gonna explain what happened really fast. These are the headers that we got from our little buddy, AKA Kenny. We are making headers and white pipe front and rear. They turned out, these, these are gonna be for the van, but they didn't fit. So, with all, all these mandrel bins and just gonna make our own custom one. Like what we're gonna do originally, because the van is getting tuned in a week, so we only have very limited time. All right, so it's been a little over a week. They didn't go with the custom, didn't go with the custom headers and white pipe only because it would have costed even more money than to just buy the set, which is 
over here. This is from Weapon R. This is from Weapon R, right, guys? Yeah. This is from Weapon R. This is the rear header. This is the front header. And this, these two parts right here is the white pipe. So it was just cheaper overall to just buy it already pre-made and everything and pick it up to buy it it was a lot cheaper easier less of a headache um the dyno appointment was set back so as of right now there is no appointment it was canceled after we get everything together then we're gonna make the appointment for the dyno boom first headers off or exhaust manifold whatever you want to call it and the first one the front header is going on right now after this just the rear header and white pipe so far this is what we get out front header white pipe not gonna really film too much of the rest because it's just taking off and putting stuff back on but going to film the first start with the new setup everything's already on here's the white pipe and here's the rear header this is just the front header uh, can't really see it gonna start up the van right now so i never actually got around to filming the whole exhaust but after the white pipe we do have this varix muffler it does have a valve so we can control when it's open and closed and when it's closed it sounds completely stock and when it's open it sounds pretty loud only because we don't have the Magnaflow resonator or muffler. As you can see right here, this is the weld from where it was and it ran right after the Varix muffler. And you can see how how big it was. We did take it off only because that muffler did end up getting hollow. After that, we do have this Apexi World Sport muffler. After this Apexi World Sport muffler is just the tip at the end. Um, everything here is three inch mandrel brand. So let me show you the backside of the exhaust. So the tip is right here. What my dad ended up doing is cutting off the tip from the world sport and then just putting it at the end right here. So from back here, you can't even see it at all. But I am gonna get that cold start for you guys because I know I didn't end up filming that either. Alright guys, so another thing I wanted to factor into this video is going to be the pedal commander and the window switch. So what this pedal commander actually does is allow us to have faster throttle response. So when we do a pull, if you know anything about like the newer Sienna's or new Toyota, it actually has a delay so it takes a second before it actually goes. And what this does, it actually eliminates that. So when we do a pull and you floor it all the way, it just instantly goes. Another thing is this window switch. So what this window switch allows us to do is control boost. So we could turn on and off boost on this blower. And the reason why we want to turn on and off boost is because we are running on water methanol. On 30% throttle, we actually are hitting boost. And when we hit boost, we are spraying methanol. So we can't cruise at like 50% throttle only because it is going to be running methanol and running really, really rich. So we have this to control that. So all we have to do is just flip the switch right here. It turns off boost and we could cruise at any percent throttle we want without spraying methanol. When we want to do a pull, we just flip the switch down, do a pull, and it's going to keep that blower nice and cold. So let me do a little example for you guys. So right now the window switch is activated. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. It did peak like one pound right there, as you guys can see. But let me go ahead and switch this down. So now it's completely off. As you can see, it does hit higher boost. It only hit one pound when it was on. And boom, we just turn on and off boost just like that. All right guys, so this is just to give you guys a little preview on what's gonna happen next video. As you guys can see, this pulley is looking a little smaller than the original one that it came with. And, and as you can see the methanol, there's two lines instead of one now. So you guys can only guess what the next video is gonna be. All right guys, so this is gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Comment what other videos you guys would like to see. Like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.